Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will start a new chapter which is chapter 9, Simple Harmony Motion. So in this video, we are going to start with 9.1, Kinematic of Simple Harmony Motion. So sometimes we will write Simple Harmony Motion as SHM. Okay, so SHM is defined as the periodic motion without loss of energy in which the acceleration of the body is directly proportional to its displacement from the equilibrium positions and is directed towards the equilibrium positions but in opposite directions of the displacement. So therefore, we can write it as A equals to negative omega square x. Okay, where the angular frequency omega here is always constant. So therefore, we know that acceleration is directly proportional to negative x. Okay, negative sign here is the equation indicates that the direction of acceleration A is always opposite to the direction of displacement E. The equilibrium position is the position in which the body would come to rest if it were to lose all of its energy. Okay, so we look at the example. Simple harmonic motion or SHM. There are three examples. The first one, simple pendulum. The second one is the frictionless horizontal spring. And the third one is the vertical spring oscillations. So for simple harmonic motions, when we say equilibrium positions, actually is at O. Okay, so O here is equilibrium position and positive X here is actually amplitude. Similar negative X here also is an amplitude, meaning that the maximum displacement the pendulum can go. For frictionless horizontal spring also, we have uh, equilibrium positions where X equals to zero and we also have X equals to positive A, maximum amplitude, and negative x here is the is also an amplitude where it is in a negative directions. Terminology of SHM. So you must know what is the uh, the terminology of SHM. The first one is the amplitude. So usually we will write it as a. A is the maximum amplitude of the displacement from the equilibrium positions. So we can write x maximum, meaning that the maximum displacement is equal to a. Next period t. T is the time taken for one complete oscillation. So we can write T equals to 1 over F, 1 over frequency, and the unit is in second. Next is the frequency. So frequency is the number of oscillation in one second. So we can write F equals to 1 over T. Unit is in hertz or per second. Angular frequency or sometimes we can write it as angular speed or angular velocity. Omega is the rate of change of the angular displacement. Omega is equal to d theta over dt or we can write omega equals to 2 pi over t or 2 pi f. So it depends on what other information you have. And the unit is radian per second. Okay, next we go to the initial phase angle where in general simple harmonic motion displacement equation we can write it as x equals to a. a is the amplitude sine omega t plus phi. Okay, so where phi here is the initial phase angle. Okay, so initial phase angle indicates that the starting point in the simple harmonic motion were a time where t equals to zero. Okay, so we look at some example. When t equals to zero, x equals to zero, this spring is start from equilibrium position. So it will swing up and then it will swing down and then going down and then go back to equilibrium position. For one complete oscillation, equilibrium is at zero. After that, it goes to the maximum displacement or the amplitude. So it will go to amplitude and then it going down to equilibrium position and then further down to okay where the negative amplitude. After that, it will go back to equilibrium position. Okay, so meaning that if the spring or the pendulum start from equilibrium position, meaning that we will get equation x equals to a sine omega t. For part b, if x equals to positive a, meaning that we start from the amplitude positive a amplitude, 
okay and then this spring it will go down to the equilibrium position so for amplitude it will go down to equilibrium position and then it will go down to the negative amplitude okay after that it will go up to the equilibrium positions and then go back to its original positions so this is one complete oscillations so from the graph we notice that the displacement x is equal to a cos omega t okay or if you want to write your equation in a sine graph meaning that we need to compare okay if let's say this is a sine graph so if you want to change the sine graph into a cos graph what should we do is we need to shift the y exit to the right okay so this is actually our initial phase angle so we can write equation as x equals to a sine because this is a sine graph okay but we want to start from this point the amplitude so we must write a sine omega t plus our initial phase angle where initial phase angle here is equals to pi over 2 okay so we can write x equals to a sine omega t plus pi over 2 okay, actually both equation x equals to a cos omega t or x equals to a sine omega t plus pi over 2 both also acceptable so it depends on what are the equations that you want to use okay next one we will go to part c where if we start from the negative amplitude okay if we start from negative a so for one complete oscillation meaning that we were from negative a and then we will go up to the equilibrium position and then we will go to it will oscillate to a positive a and then it go back to equilibrium position and finally it will go back to the negative amplitude so from this graph we notice that this is x equals to negative a cos omega t graph okay so if you want to write your equation in a sine graph so we need to draw a sine graph Okay, let's say this is our sine graph we want to let this graph start from the negative amplitude so we need to extend it okay so we need to extend it so what should we do is we want to start from the negative okay so we want to start from this point meaning that the y axis it must shift okay it must shift to the left by initial phase angle okay so we can write equation x equals to a sine omega t plus the initial phase angle where the initial phase angle here because it is shift to the left so we must write omega t minus because it's shift to the left and the point here actually is pi over 2 so it's minus pi over 2 that's all for today please watch the next video to discuss exercise 1 thank you class bye